What's up everybody, Sockman here, and this is a highly requested video, pretty much every content creator video that Bruffy puts out. There's several people in the comments asking for a guide or a video on what props you should and shouldn't use when making a competitive racetrack, so I figured I'd go ahead and give it a shot. Obviously, I'm just one person, so this isn't the end-all be-all guide. Some people might agree, disagree with things I'm saying in this video, but hopefully I can help some people out and help push people in the right direction so they can get started making better tracks. This video is strictly for apex props and barriers, basically anything that your car might be coming in contact with or crashing into, rubbing up against, etc, etc. So I color-coded everything. The red props are bad props, obviously. The yellow ones are things that you should be using with caution, which I'll explain once I get to those. And then the green props are going to be good props, which they're not here because I couldn't fit them. But you'll see those later on. So let's go ahead and get right into it, starting with the bad props. So uh, the first one we have here is the tube apex prop, which I know it's a popular one to use. It's a very, very common mistake that I see people make, but it has a horrible hitbox. So you should not be using those. And then second, we've got metal barriers. So I know sometimes you can't avoid using these, but if you don't need to use them, don't use them. There's plenty of other good options for blocking things off. I know if you've got a raised track, sometimes you have to use them, which is fine. You just need to uh, eliminate them as much as possible. Next, we've got the this big tire prop, which I see a lot of people use as like a big apex prop but it has a bad hitbox, so try not to use those. And then any tire prop. So it's not so much a hitbox issue with these, it's more the fact that they're sticky, meaning that if your car just like barely rubs up against them, it just completely stops your car. Whereas with a good prop, your car would just rub up against it and keep going like nothing happened. So uh, like especially with these signs, if these signs are going to be exposed and used to block off parts of the track, you need to lower them into the ground so that the tires aren't up and exposed. Moving on to the last couple props here, we've got these jump humps, which there's a couple different sizes of them, but they're all just as bad. The hitbox is pretty bad on these. As you can see, like each piece is actually separate. You can see the cracks, which makes for a pretty rough hitbox. And then last but not least, the good old blimp. So the blimp is great for certain things, it's great for decoration, but it does not make for a good apex prop. When you scrape up against it, it'll just completely stop your car, which you definitely don't want to happen. So yeah, that's all the bad props that you should not be using. Um, I know, like I said, sometimes you have to use them, like some props just won't work and there's no other option, but you need to eliminate them as much as possible. A good rule of thumb functionality before looks so you have to do everything possible to make the actual racing experience the best and then once you have that down then you can worry about decorating the track and putting signs up and making it look good because who cares you can have the best looking track you've ever seen but if every time you scrape up against a barrier your car gets messed up then who cares so we'll move on to these props over here now these are the ones that you need to be using with caution for example, starting with this um, full loop over here, the outside of it has a bad hitbox, but the inside of it is fine. So you can use the inside of this prop as a barrier, but not the outside. And that's the case with most of these props over here. Um, for example, all of these curved track pieces, it doesn't matter what angle it is, all of them, uh, when you place them down, the outside has a bad hitbox, but when you move to the inside, the inside's fine. So try to keep that in mind. It's the exact same for these raised track pieces over here. Any raised track piece that has a curve to it, the inside is good and the outside is bad. So I know that might be a little hard to remember, but just, you know, do your best. Now, this last piece here is very interesting. I don't know how Rockstar managed to mess this up like this, but we shouldn't be surprised at this point. So, one side has a good hitbox, but the other side doesn't. Now, I don't know why it's like that. I don't know how they managed to do that, but yeah, so you can rub up against the one side. It's this last corner right here. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see. This last corner is where the problem is. This side's good, obviously. But um, this side is the bad side. It's this last corner right here. I don't know why they messed it up, 
but it is what it is. So, uh, if there's a prop that I don't mention in this video or something that you don't remember, all you have to do is put the prop down and rub your car up against it a couple times, drive up against it, and see how your car reacts. If it crashes you a weird way, then obviously it's a bad prop. And yeah, so that's all of the, uh, the bad props and the props that you need to be using with caution. Now we'll go ahead and move over to the good props. Alright, so we're here with all the good props now. Obviously green is good. Starting off over here with these uh, stunt track pieces. This starting grid here can be turned sideways and it makes for a pretty good wall. And then this uh, starting grid here has these little fancy walls that have the fence on them and you can lower it into the ground and use these as barriers. Obviously any stunt track piece, as long as it's a flat piece, you can turn it sideways and turn that into a barrier. Moving on to these raised track pieces, as long as it has a flat edge or it's a straight track piece, it's fine. I've never had any problem with these. It's when uh, when they start curving and having turns in them, that's where the issue lies. So as long as it's a flat piece or a straight piece, uh, you should be good with that. And then this tube straight gap actually has a pretty unique use for it. You can twist it and lower it into the ground and it turns into a pretty nice barrier and it's got this little overhang over it. It's a pretty visually pleasing barrier to use so keep that in mind. You can get creative with that. And obviously this goes without saying. If you don't know this by now then I don't know what you've been doing but any stunt block piece makes for a great barrier or a great wall. This is probably the best prop to use in the creator. It's got so many uses. Uh, it's got a great hitbox on it, and there's so many different sizes, so that's a great prop to be using. If you're not using those, then I don't know what you're doing. Next, we've got these stunt ramps. These come in several different angles and different sizes. They're all fine to use. Uh, what you can do with them is turn them sideways and turn it into a barrier or a wall. Obviously, it doesn't look the best, but it gets the job done. Like I said, functionality before looks. And then we've got these two, um, we've got the quarter pipe, which comes in a couple different sizes, and then these wall ride props, which once again have different sizes, different angles, etc. They both can be turned sideways and lowered into the ground and made into a nice little outside barrier for like a turn or something. And the hitbox on those are fine. Coming towards the end here, we've got this half loop which can be turned sideways and used for like an outside barrier for something. Once again, not the best looking prop, but gets the job done. And like I said earlier with the bad props, if you're going to be using these stunt signs, you need to lower the tires down into the ground so that you can't hit them because the signs themselves have a great hitbox. It's just the, uh, the tires that cause all the issues. Last but not least, we've got the three best apex props in the game. We've got the targets, which there's two different sizes of those, and then we've got these green gas tanks and the uh, concrete pipe. So these target props, you can either just leave them completely raised like this, or you can kind of put them down on the ground so there's just like a little edge of them sticking up. Either way, it makes for a great apex prop, probably the best apex prop in the game. Uh, and then we've got these green diesel tanks, which can be turned sideways like this and lowered into the ground. These make for a great apex prop for tight turns or even hairpins. And those can be found in the machinery category. Last but not least, the classic concrete pipe. Uh, these can be found in the construction category. And what you can do with these is turn them sideways like this and use them for hairpin turns or block off light poles. This is simply the best prop to use to block off a single light pole or a street light in the game. There's nothing better that you can use. And then it can be kind of turned sideways at an angle like this and used for a hairpin turn or a tight turn as well. So that's all the props. Like I said, this is not an end-all be-all guide. I've just seen so many people ask for help. I just felt like I needed to make something. If you're a creator and you're watching this and you have some kind of tips or information that I didn't mention in this video, please leave them in a comment down below or feel free to make your own video. After all, the creator is what's keeping this game alive, so we need to do anything we can to help make better tracks and help everybody because, you know, if we're not doing anything to help people make better tracks, then we're kind of doing a disservice to the racing community, so... Um, I do plan on making another video eventually on how to actually use these props and some actual creator tips, not just what props we're using, but actually how to use the props. So keep an eye out for that. 
But yeah, that's all I've got. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video.